Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to provide a short demo of Smartsheet Data Mesh app and give you some examples of when you'd want to use this over the core app and formulas such as Index Match. Note, this is a premium app, so it comes at an extra cost unless you're in a Smartsheet Advanced package, but like all the premium apps, it'll pay for itself in terms of reducing manual work and risk of errors for starters. So, some scenarios when you'd want to consider this. So you've got a significant number of formulas in your sheet and these are referencing other sheets and you're starting to notice longer load times affecting the sheet's performance. You're also aware that not all formulas need to be updated instantly every time. For example, reference data just doesn't change anymore on certain areas. You've also got a scenario where you've got a column where you want to be able to update data manually, but you want that information to be drawn from somewhere else. And if you have a column formula using index match, you can't do that. You've got a scenario where you only want data update on a predefined frequency, for example, weekly and not instantly when something else is updated in a different sheet. Or you want to import data from different source data columns or from a report. So let's dive in and bring some life to those scenarios. So in this case, it, we're with a property company and this is the property master sheet with a number of columns. Again, I've simplified it because this could have a lot of columns. In this case, I've got um, a column here which is using an index match formula. That's fine because this information changes the whole time and so it needs to be updated instantly. However, the rent, that only wants to change when it's approved to be changed. Going to the next sheet, we've got a property pricing sheet. Now this is where the finance team and the lettings team, they look and agree the rent when someone moves out and decide, is it gonna stay the same or is there an increase? And so it automatically changes to say, a review is required and then has that been agreed? That goes to a report where that can get manager approval to say, have these been agreed? And once it's agreed, that goes to a simplified report with just the items which have been approved. And this is where then Data Mesh comes into its own. So let's look at Data Mesh. Data Mesh is opened, like all premium maps, down at the bottom here, and you can see it opening up on my little screen here from the waffle menu. I already have it open, so I'm gonna flick across to that. And here we are. And I've got two Data Mesh configurations already set up for this bit. So what I wanna do in this case is once the increase on rent has been approved, I want to update that in the property pricing and also in the property master sheet. So what's gonna happen in this case? So let's just dive in and I'm gonna show you the configuration here. So in this case, I've gone in and I've selected the source sheet, which is the report with approved rental increases. And I've asked it to overwrite information in the property pricing um, sheet. It's got a unique reference, so the property reference is the lookup that it's going to. And in this case, it's updating the proposed new rent, rather it's taking the proposed new rent um, per month, and it's overwriting the rent per calendar month in that sheet. And I've asked it to overwrite the existing data, to copy the data, and I only want this to happen once a week. So and I've given it a name here in terms of overwriting the rent on this bit. So. This is already in place, I'm gonna press update, although it's already there, and I'm going to run that manually because it, otherwise it's only gonna run once a week, which is on a Monday at nine o'clock. So I'm gonna press run, and that is going to run. And you can see here that review and confirm what you want to happen. So it's then looking at it and saying what changes are gonna take place, and I'm gonna say, yes, please. So, that has taken place. And at the same time, I also want the property pricing sheet to be updated as well. So again, that's the same setup. So let's just go in and have a quick look in terms of configuration. So again, approved rental increases the report and then going to the property pricing. And here, the proposed new rent per month is gonna overwrite the existing rent on this piece. So I've asked it to change once a week. Now, if I go back, I can actually change that to do it 
updates immediately, once on every hour, 12 hours a day or a week. In this case, I want that to happen in that case. And again, you've got various other choices here in terms of to copy the data, to create cell links and to copy and add data and what happens if it finds duplicates. And again, you know, here it's got some guidance help to help you here, just trying to bring it open. So just coming back in, I haven't made changes. I'm also going to ask that one to run as well. So let's press run, submit. And the same result has happened because it's the same data. So let's go back to our sheets and see what's happened. So in this case, this is the property master. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press refresh. And I'm going to go to the property pricing sheet and refresh that as well. So in this sheet, what you can see is the rent has changed. And where I'd previously said that the items were ready and the review was required, I've actually got an automation set up here in terms of a workflow. So what I've asked it to do is to clear the base rent value and clear requests. So you can see that whilst the source information originally came from this column here in terms of the proposed rent, and that goes to the report, goes to the report, once approved, the workflow runs and the automation, it updates the column here. Once it's updated, you now want it to go back to zero and say that it doesn't need updating anymore. So if I now go to the reports in this case, so I'm just going to refresh this report. All we can see is only one item still needs to, um, is still pending the increase. And that's approved. And if I go to this sheet here, I'm just going to refresh it. And you can see as well. So that one has already been approved because the increase was 0% in this case. That is why it hasn't updated in this sheet here. So that's the scenario in terms of taking you through some a couple of options and why you'd want to do this. In this case, what's great is you've taken information from this column in the sheet, it's overwritten information here, and it's reset it back to zero. You could not do that with an index match formula in that basis. So I trust this video has been useful in terms of showing you how you can use data mesh uh, for a particular scenario. And again, if there's a way to reduce complexity in your sheets, then you can do this using data mesh and get rid of some of those formulas which could be slowing down performance. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more videos like this, please go to my website um, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for this. Uh, and thank you for watching.